we're going to fire up Auto Hotkey and Ableton Live here <coughs> and get them talking to each other. Uh, so you can certainly do this with many different types of audio programs. You just have to get into those specifically. I chose this as an example because I like Ableton Live. It's really quick to get up and running. And uh, there's a nifty little function here that lets you key map uh, events within the program to, to a keystroke. Uh, and so we, I'm adding a couple other events here, but you can see in the key map mode, uh, this cell can be activated by pressing the exclamation point key. In my script over here, you can see when uh, the, whatever that key is, is typed, uh, you, you send uh, exclamation point, which selects the cell. I have uh, a delete command in there. And then it hits the cell again, which triggers the play button. So what this essentially functions as is a overdub. Uh, you select the cell, you delete whatever's there, and you hit the play button, which if you're in record enable mode, begins recording immediately. So uh, once you're, you get it recording, you can then hit the control button, which sends an exclamation point to that cell again, and it hits the play button there, which then uh, at the end of that measure stops recording and begins looping. So I have this set up to uh, start recording into a cell. If there's something already in the cell, it deletes what's there, begins recording. When I'm finished playing what I'm going to play, I hit the, the next button, and it, at the end of the measure, according to the master quantize function, uh, it begins looping immediately. And I'll, I'll demonstrate this in a little bit, and I, I think we'll get it better. So I sort of have these colored arrows here to show you that two lines of script are all that's required to set up four vertical channels of looping. Uh, you can see here, I, I just have the top row of buttons here perform the delete and then record function. So uh, I can record up to six separate channels and uh, control them independently. And uh, the, bottom, the bottom stops recording and begins looping from there. Uh, again, all these functions are changeable and assignable, and you can really do anything with these. It's just what I'm doing specifically. Uh, in fact, this kid wrote me today who lives in France, and I posted this on uh, the website creativedigitalmusic.com a while ago, sort of a tutorial on how to do this. And he wrote me today and sent me a script, and unfortunately all of it was in French, and he had this big long thing, and I couldn't understand it. But he sent this really nice graphic showing that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is him, and uh, he has his keyboard set up in a way that, um, uh, if we go back and look, so he, he uses a left and right function to, he has one record and one play, and then he can move right one, record and play there, and so we can bounce left and right as he's going. So they're not specifically assigned to one channel, you can move back and forth. So theoretically, you can lay out a horizontal uh, line of like 20 channels and record into each of them a turn, move back, delete them, etc.